Guys, Eddie from Harlem Blink. In this video, I'm going to tell you how your coins, how your pocket change can help you buy jewelry. And I'm not going to tell you to save them up. I'm going to tell you that they can help you determine the thickness and weight of the jewelry before you buy it. Listen, in a perfect world, all of you guys bought one of these from us or have your own scale. We sell them for only $4.95. And you guys have one of these. This is a millimeter gauge. They're about 25 bucks on Amazon. And they determine the thickness of your jewelry. But maybe your batteries ran out. Maybe you're on vacation somewhere trying to shop around for a chain. And you need to determine it in a hurry. What I'm going to tell you will only work for United States coins. So if you're in Canada or in Europe or in other parts of the world, you have to Google this for your own coins and apply the same principles a united states dime is 18 millimeters wide so if you're looking for an 18 millimeter chain this is about how wide it's going to be if you want a nine millimeter chain it's about half of this width a penny is 19 millimeters or 0 0.75 inches a nickel is 21 millimeters and a quarter is 24 millimeters, which is about 0 0.95 inches. I actually put pictures of a quarter on all of my listings. And the reason I do that is it gives you a very good size reference. So when you're going on HarlemBling.com, you can always pull out a quarter and you can kind of guesstimate how big or small the piece is going to be but the favorite coin that i have is the nickel the nickel like i said is 21 millimeters across but it's also 1.95 which is really two millimeters wide so if you have two nickels this is four millimeters if you have three that's six and so forth and so on a nickel also weighs exactly 5 grams. So, 3 nickels, this is 15 grams. You stack them up, that's 6 millimeters. So let's use an example. This is a flat Harlem Blink Cuban chain, 20 inches, 4 millimeters wide. It's supposed to weigh 9.6 grams according to our website. So we'll take two nickels, and you know it's four millimeters, you just want to see how thick it is in real life. You take two nickels, and that's how thick it is. Because again, each nickel is 1.95 millimeters. In your mind, you want to see how heavy the chain is going to be before you get it in the mail. I told you, it's supposed to be 9.6 grams. Two nickels are 10 grams, so they weigh about the same. We can continue. This is a six millimeter Figaro chain. So you take three nickels and that's about the same thickness as the chain. This is supposed to weigh 60 grams. So you take a bunch of nickels, 12 of them to be exact, and that's roughly how much this chain weighs. And we can continue going and going. The quarter is good for thicker chains, like this prong chain is 22 millimeters, a little bit smaller than a quarter. Another very important thing to understand, especially if you have one of these, is that the chains are meant to be measured at the widest point. So they're meant to be measured like this. You always have to keep this parallel to the chain. If you're going to start measuring it like this, it will give you a full reading. That's why we get a lot of messages. Oh, Eddie sold us a 5mm chain instead of an 8mm. Yeah, you dumb fucker. Because you, you took the caliper and you measured it like this. Or some people start measuring it like this. And then we get a cu customer service... So, uh, email that the people measure their chains like this. Yeah, this is the thickness of the chain. That's not the width. The width of the chain is the longest two points. 
from here to here. That's the width of the chain. Again, guys, one inch is 25 millimeters. So technically you could use a ruler like this and you could see like you're getting a 12 millimeter chain. It's gonna be half an inch. You're getting an eight millimeter, that's a third of an inch. But when you're starting going down to two, three, four millimeters, in my opinion, it's much easier to use these nickel coins, five cent US coins. Let me know if this video was helpful. Subscribe, comment below.